Well, there we go. Um, nowadays, we would say she wants to go find herself. <laughs> I need she wants to explore. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's how you would call that now. It's I want to find myself type woman. Which means I want to go and have some fun. Today's topic, we are continuing with part two, part two of what a young man should look for in a wife. Now, uh, part one, we did see that she should be prudent, she should not be idle, and basically she's a practical woman, as we saw in that other video called Be Practical. So she knows the value of housework and she puts her husband first. And a, a woman should do the same when it comes to finding a man that he is prudent, that he is not idle, and that he puts her first. It goes both ways. And of course, at the end, Whosoever findeth a good wife, a wife findeth a good thing, unless, only if she has all of these characteristics. Now, we're going to continue. We're going to be in part two, and we're going to start right here. And um, we're going to see the little story uh, attached to this part, that we're going to read some of it, but not all of it, because I don't want to make it too long. So... Without further ado. problems that indicate she was not ready now before I say that let me actually go back up so you guys can so you guys can see to what we were talking about it was about this guy his name is Rolf who was trying to get a girl to commit to him before she was sure to that she was in that she loved him so now you get that little aspect let's go there were other problems that indicate she was not ready to take on the responsibilities of married life, either by temperament or by training. Well, there we go. Um, nowadays, we would say she wants to go find herself. <laughs> I need she wants to explore. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's how you would call that now. It's I want to find myself type woman. Which means I want to go and have some fun. To the young man. Let's see what kind of questions she asked. Okay, so that was written in Great, Great Grimsburg, England. September 23rd, 1888. So this right here was written in 1880 and 1886, but yet it's still applicable today. She was truly a messenger of the Lord. Let's see. Dear Wolf, while at Basel, I had some conversation with Edith in regard to your attentions to her. So the girl's name is Edith. I asked her if her mind was fully made up that she loves you well enough to link her interest with you for life. She answered that she was not fully settled upon this point. Hmm. Red flag. I told her that she should she should know just what steps she was taking that she should give no encouragement to the attentions of any young man showing him preference unless she loved him. LYL 21.1 And this is the issue. 
we have a bunch of women nowadays they don't really love you but they always want the attention so they keep you around they keep you around they want to be friends with you while they are banging other guys now i'm not saying that's what she was doing because that was in 1886 it could have been a lot different but you never know today this is the case you are you as a man you want to get into a relationship with a woman so what she does is she because you are the good guys she wants to keep you around and that's why it's important to know the red pill knowledge as a man you need to know the red pill knowledge because once you know that you will not let, allow women to do certain things if they don't want to you tell them hey you know what i want something you want something else we're gonna go we're gonna part ways and that's it if she wants to come back to you no it's too late now because she what she is doing is she is keeping you in the back of the bus while she's exploring the world with chad and tyrone basically yes and here she is basically leading him on making him think that he's gonna get somewhere with her while she is not even sure she loves him she is basically wasting his time and as a young man we should know when a woman is making us waste our time yes so that's the, that, that those are the things that are very important you see like we said she should give no encouragement to the attentions of any young man showing him preference unless she loved him so you you're not supposed to be making him think that there is something when you don't even love him because he wants to be with you if you don't want to be with him just tell him hey i don't see you as anything as than a friend so i don't want you to keep um pursuing me now if it continues that's his um idiosity that's his um inability to understand and let go but most women nowadays they want to make you think that you are getting somewhere with them but in the end they want they get all the attention from you the call the text messages while they go out there and have sex with the guy who doesn't care about them that's how it works nowadays but let's move on she plainly stated that she did not know as she did love him but thought if she were engaged to you she might become acquainted with you <laughs> what but as it was you both but as it was you both had no opportunity to become acquainted lyl 21.2 okay this is messed up this is messed up so you need to tell me it's when you are engaged that you're gonna you might become acquainted with the person that's messed up now i don't know how correspondence was in that time i don't know it could have been there was less um courtship and when she talks that person a few times and when she got straight to the point and then later on we got engaged i don't know but i'm probably sure it wouldn't be when you are engaged so that means you you pass the friend every the friends um zone you pass the courtship zone and it's until you get to the engaged zone that you would that you might become acquainted with him um i thought by now you should already be acquainted with him 
So, yeah, she is basically, she is being fake. She is being fake. And that right here is, she is fake. And any man should find out what the woman is thinking. In that sense, there is nothing. I would just tell you guy, hey, she doesn't love you, move on. Yeah, because that, she, she is basically fake. Wow. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna, let, let me actually read that last paragraph. Okay. I had reason to think that she disliked domestic labor. Uh oh. So, first thing, good good news for you, man. You both, I mean, I know you thought you did. But good news, guys. If she doesn't like domestic labor, she's out of the equation already. And I knew that you should have a wife that could make you happy, a happy home. I asked her if she had any experience in those duties that make a home. She answered that she had done housework at home in her father's family. I asked her these questions because as her character had been presented to me, she needed special ed education in practical duties of life, but had no taste or inclination for these things. Uh, uh, 21.3 so in a sense she learned these things at home she learned to cook she learned to clean she learned to wash dishes she learned to wash clothes she learned to add clothing but she didn't like it so we call this kind of this kind of women today we call them uh We call them, uh, I don't even know if that's the right term. I don't want to use a term that is not right. But what, what we do is, we call them kind of like feminist. Because they, to them, if you are a woman that likes those things, you are frowned upon. If you look at any woman who talks about being a housewife, and how they enjoy it, feminists will look down upon them and talk down on them and make fun of them because it's supposed to be an old thing, an old fashioned. We are progressive, actually, we are digressing in a sense. In that sense, we are degrading, we are digressing, we're not progressing at all. And so, she is a, I would say, a, the first type wave of feminism. I the first, um hint of feminism edit I could think of I don't know when it came but she already showed the waves of feminism right here she knew these things but she didn't like it because to her it wasn't and we're gonna see more about her because I'm sure there's more to more to learn from her behavior so I'm gonna stop right here right now um, to all the men out there you have to understand when you are talking to the girls see if they like these kind of things see if they like if they like to cook if they like to clean to wash dishes and do these things because if you if they don't if when you talk and don't ask them do you like to cook no be, if you're talking like you know what I would really like for you to be the one cooking and I'll be the one cutting the yard. If she says, oh no, 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 why don't you cook instead, then she is out of the equation because I already know what kind of woman she is. If she gives that kind of response, get out. Run for your life because she will not um, be the one to do this for you. So. She has no practical life, she's not a good wife for you. If you're looking for a good wife, make sure to remember she has to be prudent, she has to be not idled, and she has to like that practical life 
of home duties all right guys i'm gonna stop right here this was Mario Michel. I hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now. No, no, no. Mario out.